and I'm going to move on to the next section, which is uh, alignment of the mount. I have a Celestron uh, CGEM mount, as I said, and it uses the uh, Nexstar hand controller, which you cannot see, but I can see. And I'm going to tell you how to align your mount the easy way, as long as you have your mount connected to your computer, and you have ASCOM, and you use SharpCap. So let's do it. I'm going to fire up the mount. Just turned it on. It's verifying packages on the handset. Please wait. It comes out and it says, press enter to wake from hibernation. I'm not going to do that because I move my mount in and out to use it. It's not on up here, so I need to realign it. So I'm going to hit the back button, and then I'm going to hit enter to begin uh, aligning the mount. Uh, I've already got it moved to both index marks, so I'm going to hit enter to continue. And the local time it thinks is uh, 1943. That's close enough. Enter to accept. Now it wants me to do a two-star alignment. That is a long, laborious process that I don't want to do. So instead, I'm going to go to Solar System Alignment. I'm going to hit Enter. First option is Jupiter. I'm going to hit Jupiter. And I don't know if you can hear that. That's my mount slewing. To where it thinks Jupiter will be. Now, if you know anything about this, it won't actually be pointed at Jupiter. You won't see Jupiter, except if I'm unbelievably lucky. And I probably won't be. So, here we are. I'm not pointed at Jupiter. What do I do to get, uh, to get pointed at Jupiter? Well, I'm just going to accept this. I'm going to hit Enter and Align so that my mount thinks it is pointed at Jupiter. Well, what good does that do me? Well, I'm going to launch ASCOM here. And because I've set up ASCOM to connect to my telescope, which again, I'm not going to go through that. You can find it elsewhere. I'm going to hit connect to my telescope. And now my computer is talking to my mount. And I will have SharpCap now also talking to the mount. And there's a magic button here. It's place, it says plate solve and sync. I'm going to hit that magic button. Sharp cap instantly decides that it's not pointed in the right place. It should be pointed at Jupiter. It knows that because it talked to the mount. But it decided in under a fraction of a second that it was not actually pointed at Jupiter. So what does it do? It slews to where Jupiter actually is and sinks the mount. So now it's actually pointed at Jupiter. The mount is settling a little bit, and it'll be locked in. You can see it's off a little bit, but hopefully that's close enough. And now, I'm going to open another copy of SharpCap. Because on the left is my electronic finder, and over here will be my main planetary camera, which is a ZWO ASI 678MC. And you can see it's going crazy. That's because I forgot to reset my... There we go. I'll talk about what these options are in a minute. But I'm just going to turn that off. So you can see that uh, I immediately have Jupiter on screen. Oh, I can tell seeing is going to be fantastic tonight. <laughs> That's okay. And like I said, it was a little bit off, but that's okay. I can recenter it. So um, I have my telescope controls right here on the screen. And my camera can be reoriented, so who knows what orientation it's at. Let's find out. So, okay, it looks like north and south are moving us basically left and right. And that means east and west must move us up and down. All right. That's good enough. So... We've got uh, Jupiter there in the center of the screen. You can see that the seeing is awful, but that's all right. 
These are some of the reticle options that you have in SharpCap, by the way. And I'm going to turn on planet disk stabilization. So now Jupiter is stabilized in the center of the screen. You can see this red outline box. That's the outline of the frame as it's being stabilized. Theoretically, if I were to move Jupiter around in, in the image by pointing, uh, changing the pointing of the mount, uh, then uh, Jupiter would stay stabilized in the middle, and it does indeed do that and works great. Uh, 